mapping. A lot of GPS now have mapping capabilities. Again, with position, it kind of knows where you are. If you load map software into it, it knows where relative to that map it is. Previously, you would use it in conjunction with the paper map. You know, paper map has latitude and longitude, so you'd look at it and kind of compare the two, figure out where you were. With GPS now, they have memory inside of them that will tell you kind of, okay, here, here's where you are. You're at Main Street uh, and I think that's North French, and it'll tell you exactly where you are. It'll tell you, you know, okay, we're at 5195 Main Street. You know, we're at Main and Union. You can also, on some GPSs, if they have a computer hookup, you can transfer maps that you've done, any of your trails, any of your waypoints, stuff like that that you've set in while you're on a hike, you know, if you want to add something for next time, or there's a lot of boards and stuff like that on the internet where you can say, okay, I'm going hiking in the Adirondacks. I'd like to find out where all the campsites are. Because not all the campsites are going to be on there, because uh, they get changed, you know, yearly, day to day, and it's hard for, you know, companies like Garmin, to, unless they hike the trails, to get on those. So there's a lot of stuff online where they'll tell you a waypoint. You know, this is such and such a campsite. You can, you know, make a fire here. You can't make a fire. There's water nearby, stuff like that. 